This is a brand new Subaru WRX and it costs about $30,000. And this is a 2006 Subaru WRX that we've spent over $30,000 modifying. Today we're gonna to put both cars to the test and see if spending thousands of dollars and countless man hours on a 20 year old car is actually worth it. Yeah, we're gonna see how they handle some different terrains and then we're gonna put them head to head in a track battle. <laughs> Welcome to Donut. Now, I know what you're thinking. How on earth could a 20-year-old car cost over $30,000? Well, that's because we've spent a lot of time and money modifying this thing to turn it into a full-fledged time attack car. We've upgraded everything, wheels and tires, suspension, brakes, the engine, the turbo, the interior. We didn't spare a single penny on this car. Top of the line parts, which has all added up to about what it would cost you to get a WRX from the dealership, brand new. Pretty stupid, to be honest. But High Low is all about modifying a daily driver that you can also take to the track. So today, we're gonna to be testing this car up against its brand new baby brother. We're gonna be leaving from IPL headquarters here in Englewood and going all the way up to Willow Springs Racetrack. First test is gonna be on the city streets. Let's see how they do. Whether you're working on a project car or gearing up for a hectic holiday season, your time is valuable. And that's why today's sponsor, Factor, offers you fresh, never frozen, high quality meals that are ready in just two minutes. Forget about the shopping, the chopping, the prepping and cleaning. Factor simplifies nutrition with regularly updated menus boasting over 27 ready to eat meals and 33 add-on options. There's something for everybody. I'm talking keto, calorie smart, chef's picks, or my box for the week, vegan and vegetarian. Today, I'm having the roasted artichoke and red pepper cream lasagna. Save time this November and enjoy delicious meals with Factor. Click the link below or visit Factor75.com and use code DONUT50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's Factor75.com with promo code DONUT50. Back in the saddle. We got a big old orange horse. Oh. We're riding her again. Every time you hop in this thing to drive, it's like a bit of an event. For the power and like the modifications we made to this thing, it's an easy car to drive. Mm. The clutch isn't crazy, it's easy to get off the line. It doesn't drive like a race car, it drives like a car that also happens to handle really well and make good power. Yes. The least comfortable thing about it's gotta be the seats. Uh -huh. But that's always gonna be the case when you do bucket race seats. I mean, yeah, these are serious seats. Once you're in these seats, you're in them. I mean, even, you know, being in a parking lot, like at a gas station or something, if you have to switch pumps, like, looking over your shoulders and yeah. stuff is a little hard. But you forget about all that real quickly when you start driving. Speaking of convenience, uh, we do need to get some fuel. effective mods that we made to this car is converting it to E85 or flex fuel. We want E85 for the track, it really bumps up our horsepower. We do get worse gas mileage with E85, but at this gas station at least, it's about half as much as regular gas. E85 is kind of hard to come by in this part of Los Angeles. Yeah, strangely, it is not as easy as just pulling into the next gas station yeah. you see. $6.59 for regular, $3.29 for E85. I mean, you'd be dumb not to drive a 20-year-old Subaru. Mmm, you can smell it. Mm-hmm, smell that corn. This car kind of smells like a locker room. A little bit. I mean, listen, here's, here's the hard facts. This car has 197,000 miles on it. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit beat up around the edges. Yeah, this car can legally vote. Old cars tend to break more often than brand new ones. Yeah, especially when you modify them a lot. So. It took a few tries to get it started this morning. That is true. Sweet. Beyond the work that we put into this thing to modify it, the amount of man hours that have gone into it to just maintain it and keep it running, I wouldn't say are astronomical, but they are quantifiable. Yeah, but depending on the type of person you are, that's something you're totally okay with. 100%.
Okay, now we are in the 2023 Subaru WRX. Woo! Brand new car. Initial thoughts right off the bat. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. What? It's fine. I'm not as engaged, you know? It doesn't sound as cool. It doesn't feel quite as cool. For sure. But it's not like it's doing badly. The steering feels okay. It's a little bit light, but it's not bad. It's pretty predictable. It's agile. It goes where you want it. The clutch is really light. The shift action is pretty good. I like the shift knob. It feels good. It's got some weight to it. It's got a little click when you drop it in. You know, it's doing the job that I think a lot of people need a car to do and really nothing more. Mm -hmm. This feels like a babysitter owns it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe that's smart business. Maybe they'll sell a bunch of units, but I, I don't know. I'm feeling like I could take a nap right now. Please don't. Please don't. I really hate the carbon fiber trim. I hate the, the trim. fake carbon trim. Fake carbon trim, fake aluminum trim. And it's only half blue, the other half is black plastic. Yeah. Now, to be fair, this is only the base model WRX. If you want to spend another $10,000, you can get the GT model, which has a few cool upgrades like electronic dampers and Recaro seats but it only comes with a CVT, i.e. no manual transmission. And that seems like it won't be changing for next year's 2024 WRX unless you buy the new TR trim, which is set to cost almost $50,000. But that doesn't mean that the base model is without its faults either. Uh, I'm a little annoyed that you have to use a key. Yeah. It's 2023. Right. Buying a new car is like a monumental. Yeah, uh, it's like the second biggest purchase of your life. For sure. And especially a lower trim car like this. This is often someone's first brand new car purchase. So give them some cool stuff. I mean, you got the screens, but give them the push button start. Dude, what is the world coming to? She got a belly full of corn and she's farting. Now this is where this car belongs. Yeah, this is why we built this thing. Going fast in this car is a huge payoff and yeah. the noises that it makes when you shift while going fast are really, really fun yeah. and exciting. Yeah, like, listen to this. I mean, it's crazy how much more personality you add to a car when you put parts on it. Like, I always personify cars yeah. quite a bit. I feel like this car is proud of itself yeah. and it's trying to succeed. Yeah. It's like grateful that we gave it the opportunity yeah. to be really good. Yeah, it's, it's got a whole second line. You know, it is itself. There's not a single car on the planet that is exactly like this one. Right. This car was going to be comfortable on the street and on the highway, but how does it do in the canyon? Here it becomes apparent how much less support we have in the seats. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely moving a whole lot more. Even doing the speed limit through these uh, twists right here, I'm kind of falling out of the top of the seat. Yeah, I'm definitely using my legs more to stabilize yeah. myself which is the reason that you get aftermarket seats, so you yeah. can not hold yourself up and focus on driving. This thing is just silent. Oh yeah, super quiet. You know what, some people might like that. We could talk in a whisper. I, I'd say most people. Yeah, I think there might be something wrong with us. Oh, for sure. <laughs> But, gripes aside, there's one thing that is really nice about owning a new car. It's got 1,500 miles on the clock. There's a sense of peace that comes with that. Yeah, I would drive this car anywhere confidently. Absolutely. Like, if this thing breaks, then something that wasn't supposed to happen happened. Yeah. If high car breaks, it's like expected. Like, oh, okay. In fact, <laughs> if you took that car on a long road trip and it didn't break, Everybody you would be, would be blown away. pleasantly <laughs> surprised. I don't know, I mean, at the core of all this, I'm just not a new sure. car guy. It doesn't have any personality. It's not like doing anything. If you bought a high car and you brought it to work, everybody would be like checking it out. And like, uh -huh. oh, dude, this thing's so cool. Oh, what, what's that exhaust? Blah, blah, blah. And if you pulled up in this, people would be like, oh, cool, do you like it? Yeah, how is it? And then they would just go right back to doing what they were doing. For sure. No one would stand up and come outside. Exactly, and that's the attention I need. <laughs> The amount of trouble and money I will go through <laughs> to get a little bit of attention from another boy is insane. Yeah, 
It almost doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Like, this is a fine car. It's a fine car. It's just it's a little boring. But the canyons are one thing. The track is another. So we're going to put these two WRXs head to head first in a drag race and then in a time attack battle. If high car doesn't win, we'll delete the channel. Yeah. Promise. Yeah. I'm saying a uh, high car takes this by uh, uh, six car lengths. Okay. Yeah. The only way the blue one beats the orange one is if the orange one blows up. Exactly. Which is like 50 50? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A super landslide. There's maybe a couple car lengths, but yeah, this thing pulls like a train once a uh, boost comes on. The rev range in this thing is so short. He got him off the line, but then he just ate me once he got into boost. So I guess I'll pay attention to when I should shift better this time. I think I was a little late. You had like two car legs. I was, I was catching up, but. One more. All right, three, two, one. That thing is fast. I mean, again, no surprises there. It has a lot more horsepower than this thing. Depending on which dyno we use, more than 100 more horsepower. Once the turbo spools up on high car and it hits boost, just bye-bye. But it takes more than just a drag race to be truly fast. Let's see what both of these cars can do in a hot lap. So we've got one of our resident race car drivers, Jeremiah Burton, piloting both cars around Streets of Willow. Now he knows this track really well, so he should be able to put down a pretty quick time for both cars. All right, here we go. And here he comes in high car. Woo! Sounds good, dude. It does sound good, and it looks great. Coming in fast, dude. Looking good, this is a fun corner. Is he just playing around? Did he oh. break it? <laughs> he just, he just lost that? everything. Yeah, smoke yeah. and Did you break it? I don't know. Just a bunch of smoke just started billowing into what the is, cabin. Is, like out of the vents? Yeah. It smells a little electrically in here. Yeah, it does. OK, so <laughs> we are running into one of the major drawbacks of having an extremely modified car. Something broke. First lap out. The blue car might be faster. The only way the blue one beats the orange one is if the orange one blows up. It smells like something. Yeah, it smells like not an engine thing. Not good. <laughs> OK. But an electrical fire like probably will spread that <laughs> path. <laughs> uh, well, hey, let's see what happens this time. Uh, I predict I'm going to do a, I'll probably do a 124.5 right here. Like, I know the intricacies of a race car. <laughs> hey, don't touch it like that. Here we go. Looking good. Much nicer. He's right, he's right. That's a 124.6. We can call it a 124.5. Wow. So pretty good. <laughs> Bumper falls off right on cue. Now let's see what the new WRX can do. I'm guessing 113.7. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to hold myself so yeah. it won't flop over the ear seat. Yeah, you're going to have to hold yourself a little bit, I think. I've got a nice oh crap handle over That's here. That's rolling. Yep. A lot 
lot more tire noise. And there's no other noises to mask the tire noise. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I hope it's at least a few seconds longer. <laughs> yeah. Holy How's it feel? Not as bad as I thought. It's certainly faster than High Car was stock. Yeah, definitely. So Subaru has made some improvement. Yeah, you know, if it was a head-to-head -head race between High Car when it was stock and that, it got smoked. Ooh. Starting to smell the brakes a little, a little bit. Coming in quick. That's about all she had. Okay, we got a 120.71. He was only a few seconds slower in the new WRX versus high WRX. That's pretty good. With the warranty. <laughs> <laughs> you so know? you give it some coilovers and some tires, and you're probably right there. Pretty impressive. Yeah, surprisingly good. Yeah. So was it worth spending all that time modifying high car? I think so. But while it's a little bland on the outside, the new WRX is still the same old rally icon on the inside. Thanks for watching. You've seen our $2,000 mini truck here on the channel. Now it's time for you to own a piece of this bad boy. That's right. For four lucky winners, we're giving away the original wheels from the Chang Lee, signed by the whole donut crew, and a gift card to donutmedia.com. All you have to do is click the link in the description below or head over to donutmedia.com and click the banner. Make sure you go do it now because this giveaway ends on November 10th. Go click. So don't sleep. Go do it right now.